Let the Right One In, Reginald the Vampire, Interview with the Vampire, Vampire Academy. I think we're done <laughs> after this. This should close it out for October, and it should close it out for the Halloween month. But then I, I insist that we don't do a vampire show for at least six months. Well, I was only aware of the Vampire Academy because of the 2014 pan film. Yeah, it has a five point something, but it almost got a sequel. They did like a GoFundMe. Is this supposed to be that sequel? No, 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 no. <laughs> they almost did a sequel. It raised like, I think, 200 some thousand dollars, but they needed to raise millions. So not even <laughs> close to where they were setting their goal. And then also like they didn't uh, give it to critics beforehand. It was never released in the UK except uh, direct to video. Like it, it flopped. So does this take place in the same world as that? Like is Vampire? I mean, Academy? they're based on the same books. Okay. The books that came out in like 2007, a book series of six by Rishul Mead, uh, Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and Last Sacrifice. She kind of has her own lore to the vampire series that she adds to yes, it. Yes, yes. No, I could definitely tell because when they did the previously, they did a they did a ton of like story. I could tell that even though I was jumping in at the finale, there had been like a ton of lore that happened and it even happens in this show. Well, There's... it's also redefined for the show. So Julie Pleck, who also did developed uh, Vampire Diaries, the originals, Tomorrow People, Legacies, has done a lot of vampire type shows. She had to like change a lot of the books like she did with uh, Vampire Diaries. I was about to say Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> and uh, her and Margaret McIntyre, who actually played in Vampire Diaries, The Sheriff, they worked together to develop this story, yeah, which no, is completely this, different than the movies, yeah. Yeah, this I was going to say, even though it is supposed to be it's TVMA, and mm -hmm. it was a little more oh, edgy it? than I thought. I On mean, Peacock. I assume, yeah, the thing is, is that... It actually felt just like a more edgy version of Vampire Diaries. Yeah. It, it felt like it was kind of one of those early 2010 like TV shows. A lot where of will they, to, won't they? Yeah, a lot, a lot of, that, of, lot of relationships. Trauma and yeah. loneliness. And then they'll throw in an action to make it like interesting to anyone else who's not watching for that specific reason. So compared to like Roswell, New Mexico, because that's another CW show, and it also had the executive producer as Julie Plack. Um, is that at all related to it? I wouldn't say so. Because no. um, I, I knew there were love triangles in that as well. Nancy Drew is the other one I was thinking, but you never saw that. That was me. So, um, but I was just thinking, yeah, this would probably fit on the CW pretty well. Yeah, I mean, and I, that's why I was surprised to see it was on Peacock. It also had the same kind of like production value or looked more like a CW show than an NBC show. Mm -hmm. it, like it looked a little bit more cheap than that. I also have Reality Z here because it is supposed to be kind of tongue in cheek, despite the fact that it's- Does it take place? in the school the entire time? Like, uh, do you see people going to classes and stuff? Well, the thing is, is that I assume that's how the first nine episodes are. No. <laughs> no? No. Because the finale is just supposed to, it does take place mostly in the school, but, like, these things called Strigoi, who I assume are just, like, more evil vampires. vampires. Yeah, they're attacking the academy. So, like, you know how there's, like, in vampire lore, there's always the belief that, like, vampires have feelings, but then sometimes they can turn those off? I think Strigoi are what happens when you can turn those off mm. and then you choose to become like completely evil. Yeah, because like the thing about the Strigoi and how you can differentiate them is that like their eyes turn completely red. Yeah, they're supposed to look a lot different in the series. In the books, they're just supposed to, I think, be uh, normal, normal looking or like the classic vampire. Yeah, there's like a character named Sonya who apparently has either been bitten yeah. Sonya been by a Strigoi and she, yeah, like she looked li literally like a zombie. I like the makeup they did for her or it, was, yeah. it could have been something out of The Walking Dead or Fear of the Walking Dead or something like that. And normally they just look normal, <laughs> like normal vampires. But yeah. now they look like zombies. So yeah, Sonia, I think, is the daughter of Victor. He Rest in peace. Has, he rest dies in peace. this episode. Well, he might die this episode. From what I've seen, he was never shown 100% as dead. Let's just jump okay, right into yeah. the plot. So, so the, you, first scene. The first shot that we see are Strigoi. They are like running up on the academy and they're just attacking everyone. It's nighttime. It's a bloodbath. You, you, then you're, did you see the previously at all? Was there anything that kind of yeah, led up to I that? Yeah, I think that there was like, so there's this evil girl. I think she was originally supposed to be a good person Tatiana? named Tatiana. Yeah, I think that she somehow controls the Strigoi or, or something like that. Or she's like just that. working for the behalf yeah, of evil. She really wants to have Lisa, who's the main character's crown because Lisa is the next Air. She can heal people and she can do a bunch of other stuff, I think. Yes, and she is being escorted by guards to a different place, basically a different palace, as all of these Strigoi are just like attacking students that are there. So far, so good. And you know, yeah, no, that's actually what I kind of thought because it was like pretty exciting, despite the fact that I thought that it looked a little cheap. It was like you were seeing like characters die, and I was like, okay, well, I was not expecting it from this type of TV show. Mm -hmm. You also see Dimitri, he was some, for some reason, held up in a cell, a girl like, or 
releases him from the cell and then ends up dying. You have Jesse and Silver, characters that we barely see in this episode, but they're shown to like either have just had sex or having sex, but they can hear something from the outside. You have Mia and Christian. Mia they, is actually, I think, um, Sonia's sister, like adopted sister. Really? Yeah, I think okay. they're like... That half and half siblings or something. Yeah, that makes actually a lot more sense of watching it. But you have me and Christian, they're trying to get out of the academy, but at this point, there's such a shortage of buses and cars that, like, they're not going to be able to leave. They're trying to get out of the town. Yeah, well, they're trying to get out of the academy because of all the attacks that are going on right now. Yeah. But there's a shortage of them. Then you have Mason and Rose. They're in a car, and they're, like, talking about going to Vegas because I think that they know that Strigoi are, like, attacking the academy. So they want to go on a road trip. Yeah, and I, so <laughs> at this point, sure. I, have, I have no idea what's happening. We're about, like, four minutes in, but I was enjoying it. I was like, all right, this this seems like a pretty cool way to start it off. Uh, and then, yeah, you have the Queen and Lisa, and she's in this palace. They even have this uh, guard there that's supposed to be very, very loyal to the Queen. Yeah, a dampier guard. Right, and so the Queen is, like, taking blood from this... Uh, who they call a feeder, yeah. someone who she so, can just take blood from. And it turns out that the feeder was poisoned. They drop dead, and then the, it turns out that the queen, because of the fact that she was taking blood from the feeder, was poisoned as well, and that's what leads into the intro. Uh-huh. So it seems like it's going and to be Liz curtains. And Liz is the only one there, there or Lisa's is the only one there, who can, like, vouch yeah. for what's happening. Well, yeah, I mean, you have also the guards there. You have, like, two of the guards. Oh, the guards are there. But so- aside, yeah, aside from that, it seems like those are really the only people. And it seems like the, the queen is living on borrowed time as it is. Mm-hmm. Like, once we cut back to the intro, you yeah. can see that she's talking about how she's had a good life. And Lisa's like, no, I don't speak that way. But it's pretty obvious that she's about to die. I thought that she was, like, transitioning power to Lisa. Like she was like, you're going to be the next queen or something. No, I think that I think that Lisa, Lisa was already supposed to be the heir to the throne. That's uh, what we the saw. Royal, the royal like previously. next in line. I'm yeah. not sure. I'm not sure, but uh, I do know that the real queen died. So I wonder if they like rewrote the plot. <laughs> I mean, to keep it accurate, maybe oh. they gave her a heroic death, but actually we then are introduced to, it just seemed like a, a heroic death as in poisoning is a heroic death. No, 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 that happens later on the way that she dies. Yes. But we also, they just kept introducing characters that I assume were in the show, but it was just There's funny to them. continually yeah. see them. Mason you know, Meredith. That's when we see Tatiana again. I think that she was good and she was always, you either, thought that she was good. I no, I think she was good in the series and she either turned evil or she was always evil, but she, it's, it was obvious she was supposed to be, like, tricking the main characters. In this characters. one season, the way that the creators have talked about it is that this is, like, the first time they just made someone straight up 100% one-note evil. There's no other side to them. It was only evil all the way Wait, really? until the end of the season. Now, next season, they're going to try to undo that. I think if they get another season, is that is that the way that it is in the books when they try to no. do it? No, like Tatiana is like a combination of several characters oh, I, in the books. I don't know why. I guess thought that like Tatiana was maybe their friends, but always like secretly evil underneath. Mm-hmm. But okay, yeah, no. Then you have Aunt. She has Andre. He's tied up. Well, Andre is Lissa's brother. Yes. And he's been dead for a while. Well, not really dead, but they've thought he was dead, I assume. Oh, okay. That makes that makes something even funnier that happens later on in the episode. The reunion? Uh, yeah. Okay. But the thing is, is that, yeah, he's tied up. Tatiana literally has him by the hands. And apparently, she's really trying to get to the throne. She does not want Lisa to be the queen. She wants to have all the power. She's come up with a deal with Andre where she won't attack Lisa, but because Andre apparently knows about the council and everything, like she he needs to like give over information. Mm-hmm. And so Andre does say that in the event of an absence of a council member, there are many members can agree to call for a vote for Lisa or whoever is in charge at that time to resign. Yes. So Tatiana learns this. She's like, great. She ends up leaving. And then you have uh, one of the guards that Tatiana has watching over Andre. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I, okay, so here's the thing about a lot of TV shows that we do. Usually about like 10 minutes in, and I'm assuming it's because of the fact that we were watching a finale, why it was so different. But usually about 10 minutes in, it deals with like a couple different storylines. And then by the end, you know, it ends up like working out or whatever. But this, it just kept on going with different storylines throughout the whole entire show. Yeah, so I heard that it, like episode nine was sort of a finale, kind of like with Game of Thrones, how they would do the finale in the episode beforehand. And then the last episode was kind of either setting up for the next season or just closing up every single arc that it possibly could i think that's sort of what you got right because like you know i I thought that maybe andre trying to escape because that's what he tries to do in this episode would maybe take up most of his storyline but Mm -hmm. it's like no there was like him trying to escape and then him trying to make it to the academy and then him like meeting up with lisa and and, and but he does get to meet up with his sister yeah 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 Yeah. (laughs) so that's the reunion that everybody wanted to see right yeah and i i I, that's even what i put in my notes i assume the people who have watched this 
to this show, this episode was pretty crowd pleasing. But the thing that I found so funny about Andre's death, because he does end up dying, mm -hmm. is he literally sees Lisa. It's like this joyful moment. He's like, look, Tatiana is not who she says she is. And right after that, and this is where I felt like I'm not really sure if the show knew how to do the rules with the Shigoi because it's morning now. And apparently they were like, because it's morning, we don't have to deal with them. Yeah, because like with classic vampires, as soon as they get hit with sunlight, they burn up. Right. But then a Shigoi comes out of nowhere and ends up eating on You're it. not the first person <laughs> to point out how the sunlight doesn't seem to always work yeah, on them. <laughs> well, it was, it was just so odd because it was like and when that. When you say eat him, like he's. he's he, he gets bitten and, yeah. he, and he's dead. And apparently Rose because she's with Dimitri they have to get underneath this tunnel because again all the buses at this point have, are gone They're, they've just been like see ya we're definitely not coming back to where this thing is taking place they try to open up this tunnel that apparently is very close to a tarmac that's their mission for cool. the episode but she ends up getting a vision of Andre dying that was a little strange I was like are they trying Rose to does? yeah Rose. well Rose and Lisa are connected like through those visions that so she's able to have her sense. feelings or something like that however I think in the book series that's an open secret like everybody knows it and in this it's less of an open like it's a they don't even figure it out until like months and yeah well i was just i was very confused because again it when it turns morning after that night it, and it turns morning after the intro yeah yeah like I, I think that they would hang out at a place that like doesn't have mornings well, yeah or you something. know like alaska or something where it's like night all day <laughs> or something like that and then like move I don't but know. you had most of the main characters being like, okay, we have like a certain amount of time before the Strigoys come back because again, it's morning. But no, instead, Tatiana somehow has like an army of Strigoys with her. And then like she's attacking the palace and a ton of the council members sure. as well. Sure, sure, sure. Um, and so, yeah, then you also get. And they're also supposed to be like super more powerful than the Dampiers who are the guardians. I mean, they like, did. They're supposed show to that. take, it's like five to one. Is a, like the weakest Strigoy can be killed by like five really good Dampiers. Yeah. And it, well, you even talking about. sounds so stupid. <laughs> yeah, talking about okay. that type of lore actually you have christian who i think is like married or was supposed to be married to lisa but because of the fact that she he, so didn't, he didn't give it like a gift to her yeah that he was her love interest yeah and, and that he's a fire user so everybody's got their own like little element that they're a part of which is yes. very avatar-esque yes no it, it very much is and he meets with an elder and they talk about how they have to like make this steak there was something about this guy named vladimir oh, I you're earlier. talking about like actual steak yeah steaks to yes kill. yeah <laughs> No, but yeah, apparently there was this guy named like centuries ago, Vladimir, and they tried to say some more with that. It really didn't end up mattering in the end. Well, Vlad is a very vampire-esque yeah. name. Yeah, I know. Vlad the vampire. And so, yeah, he gets this stake. And, and so you have like all these different storylines going on. I was just kind of trying to catch up with the times that this was happening. But to talk about Jesse and Silver. So Lisa, she ends up hanging out. Mm -hmm. she, she leaves and the queen is like, After you know, Andre's dead. Uh, uh, no, 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 this is before. This is before Andre. Yeah. Yes, but the queen is like, you know what? I'm just going to stay here because I'm obviously going to die. You right now are the queen. I will use my final power to try and like save you as you try to get out the, the gates. Weird. Did yeah. she give her the crown? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, okay. I don't think so. But yeah, no, in, in the end, when it comes down to but what the queen does to, is she gives Christian's book that she was supposed to give to uh, that christian was supposed to give to her mm -hmm. to lisa so therefore christian and lisa now are technically married because lisa got the book from uh, christian okay it was like the final step that they had to go through or whatever that never ended up i have happening. no idea what these people look like but i'll, I'll go with it yeah <laughs> and so yeah no so then these the, are supposed to be like kids in in school right like these are high schoolers it looked like they were supposed married. to be like 16 to 18 yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean they're played by 25 year olds so who cares? yeah and so the queen ends up dying lisa she's like you know what i'm hanging out of here she runs across Mia who has been there since the since the night mm -hmm. and Mia's like we have to get you out of here because they can just tell that they need their queen when the Sugoys are going to be coming back so they have to head out and then that's when Tatiana is coming in with all the different Sugoys and she's like attacking the whole entire council apparently uh Jesse has his dad and his dad I assume was supposed to be a dick throughout this whole entire series I think he was yeah yeah, yeah. he he gets some justice because Jesse and Silver they run across uh Lisa and Mia they go into this car because apparently Jesse had a car and then Jesse's dad comes running out and it's like Jesse let me get in the car with you because again Sir Goys are somehow attacking the city again mm -hmm. and then Jesse's just like sorry dad there's no room and just <laughs> Did he hit the lock button when he said that they hit the little like the <laughs> tiny little lock like 
and then, and then they just drive off. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that was basically what happened. To be fair, the dad did call Silver, who again was Jesse's girlfriend, like a whore. Oh, wow. Just, just to really like nail and then the fact was that, that this after guy was they've a already dick. let it or were they no, like, this let me in with the oh, this is before. So, so he's Real like, smart. <laughs> yeah, so, he, so there's no room. And then, yeah, he and the dad ended up dying. There were some funny deaths, and I was surprised how many people ended up dying. Well, there this, was, there was the other now. dad. Uh, there's the Victor dad, right? Yeah, the Victor dad. So I didn't even know his name. They never say his name. You he recognized didn't... him though, right? No, I didn't. He's from Council of Dads. <laughs> He's like the third one there. I swear, all the Council of Dads are going to come in, like, are going to be shows that we've reviewed later on. Well, because... J. August Richards, yeah, he's he's probably the most famous one in the show. Oh, well, he dies. Yeah, I know. He, well, he... he looks like he dies, once again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he goes to a church. He's I think like... he's actually just going to get turned into a Stravoy. He must have betrayed them at some point in the series during the season, because he apologizes to Mia when Mia and Christian are trying to uh, get a bus to get out yeah, of Yeah, so the in Academy. the book series, he's like the major villain guy. Like, he's sick, and so he kidnaps Liza at some point. But in this thing, he... And I don't think, like, any of that's a spoiler because they're obviously not going with that plot here. Yeah. But in this, like, Sonia has turned into a Strigoi already, and there's a, a belief that because he was sick, that maybe she turned him... Because Strigoi's aren't supposed to have feelings, but maybe she had enough of a feeling to turn him into a Strigoi as well because that would cure him of his sickness. It just seemed like oh, in, in this church scene that Sonia saw him and was just like, you know what, I'm going to kill someone because he was there. It didn't yeah. seem like it didn't seem like there was any feelings that were shown. Okay. But yeah, no, so Victor ends up dying. And then you have this final big brawl in the woods. I should also mention that this is after uh, the fact that Andre has died. It's always in the woods too. Like even in Harry Potter, it was like no, that was I, where the final fight was. And too. that's what I put. Like, you had a ton of, like, Vampire Diaries episodes that took place with fights in the woods. I even compared it to the originals, which you said, like, it has the showrunners or executive producers for it, right? And right. legacies. And yeah. this thing, yeah. It, it always, for some reason, like you're saying, in the woods. Also, Twilight, I know from, like, the trailer clips that I saw whenever I would see the trailers for it, they showed it sometimes. But, yeah, I know. It's basically these Strigoi's and these vampires. It's nighttime now. Christian has ended up, like, meeting Mia and Lisa, and, and everything is going crazy. He has to close this what just felt like a like a closet basically but mm -hmm. it was supposed to be it's like returning this dagger and that's supposed to apparently kill all the stragoys you have even this character named mason who's shown up like in a couple scenes he's like prior. a one-sided love interest guy for rose like, yeah he likes her but she's obviously into dimitri right and then like it basically <laughs> the scene just okay, just erupts it's a ton of fighting and I, the choreography for yeah, it actually choreography. wasn't that bad yeah. it wasn't that bad but again it, i felt like they shot it in the dark to get away with some of the fact that they didn't have to use too much cgi oh sure but the every show does that yeah. So, yeah i should also mention that what's going on with rose and dimitri down in the tunnel is the fact that strigoi are attacking them there mm -hmm. um because obviously but are they using that moment for like a very steamy scene to be like i love you so much <laughs> Like, no, in fact, it feels like they needed a connection before they like broke up. Yeah, right? well, they, they do end up breaking up. Yes, but I, I'll get there. But the thing is that like beforehand, they talk about how they don't really feel like they're known. They know, know each, each other, other that well. And right. They have like this whole scene. And then uh, it turns out that Christian, it seemed, or sorry, not Christian, Dimitri, it seemed like he got bit by one of the Strigoi's, but apparently he's fine. It yeah. seemed like they, again, they were just Well, it's weird that they're all vampires and they're still afraid of being bit. <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then someone, and it never is explicitly stated in the episode, but I felt like it was Rose's mom shows up out of nowhere. Well, I think Rose's mom is dead. Okay, so it was someone else. The reason why I thought it was Rose's mom is because at the end of the episode, this person, who I assume we've seen in other episodes, gave Rose a card, and it, it, the card had a phone number on it, and it was for Rose's dad, mm -hmm. the character says. Okay. So that's, so that's why I so thought it was So maybe it's just Liz's mom. parents who are dead. Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I never read the books. I just know this from my quick study that I've done over the last couple of days. So Tatiana has now taken over what? the Tatiana main... has taken over basically the academy. Yes. I think she. I think the whole entire point of why she sent the Strigoi there was she was killing anyone who was going to oppose her or knew that was going to oppose her. So even though Liz has been named queen, she has taken up the mantle. Well, again, she learned from Andre that what she has to do is she just has to get all the council members to agree that Lisa is not fit and they're Therefore, Lisa will no longer be queen. So yes. that's exactly what she ends up doing. She ends up getting it. And what, what happens during the fight is the fact that Christian, he ends up returning the da dagger. They end up winning. The only question is Mason, like, got a serious injury during the fight. It seems like he's going to be fine, though, because they talk about how he's going to be going to a hospital. Also, what's-her-face can cure people, right? Lisa can cure people.
people. Yeah, and that and that's actually comes into play in the episode as well because Lisa, when she was with Jesse and Silver and Mia, was just supposed to be leaving the academy, right? Like I said, but she saw all the people wounded that she was like, you know what? There's no way that I can leave because I'm supposed to be. So there she did playing. like a mass heal, like just no, no, one no, no, by no. one. Yeah, one by one. Oh, one by one. Yeah, but again, she's in the woods at this point, and then once Tatiana, once word is out that she became queen, she was like, oh no, it doesn't matter. I'm I'm out of here. There's no way I'm staying. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, Dimitri and Rose, they end up like making it past the tunnel. They've opened up the tunnel. They've destroyed all the Strigoi, but it turns out that Rose is leaving, and I think Dimitri is going back to the. Well, Academy. Rose is going with Lizza. Yeah, Rose is going with Lizza. Like you were saying, they were basically connected, so it makes They're sense. They're best friends. Yeah, it's the whole point of the show. They and they like yeah. And so so Dimitri and Rose, they end up sharing a kiss. They end up leaving. And but then, then they, break, they up. break up, right? Like, yeah. that's the whole thing. Everybody's like, oh, no, what's going to happen? <laughs> Again, that's where the will they won't be. Also, it's where the like. beginning, the first book of the series took place was when they had already left the school and they were being brought back. Oh. So this is kind of like they're going to the, they're jumping to the sixth it's, book. They're keeping parts of the first book. and yet So it's like starting. a prequel and they're also doing their own thing. And well, like, <laughs> I guess they're giving other people storylines. They're combining characters. Basically, Julie Fleck just like going crazy with it, you know? Yeah. And then also Christian, I should also mention because he got the stake because of all the stuff that they did with the elder. He's now a monk. That's what the elder that just, just happens. The elder just calls him a monk. It oh, seemed like it was now. just supposed to happen in the. <laughs> it just seemed like it happened in the episode. She's did they like, shave his head so that he has that like giant bald? Thing no, but <laughs> but but Christian and Christian and Lisa do share a final scene together where Lisa's like, "Well, we are married," and then he's like, "Oh, well, that's odd because I'm a monk." <laughs> Here, it was here, have a steak. Here, here, have a steak. Yeah. Okay. And so, and so, yeah, it seems like they end up leaving. Um, and then the final scene that we see is uh, Andre. And I was fine with Andre being dead because I liked his death scene. But he, like, opens his eyes. It's really red, showing that Andre has now turned into a Strigoi. And I think that I basically have covered everything that happened. It's also hinted that he becomes a pretty big deal in the Strigoi base. Well, you see, that's what I found so odd. Because, honestly, this felt like the Strigoi seemed like characters. I already compared it to The Walking Dead. But where, you know, when, you, like, in The Walking Dead... They're kind of stupid. They were just... They don't say anything. Yeah. So I don't understand how Andre is... But not in the books like in the books they're like perfectly smart they're strong they're evil they're yeah it just felt like whenever someone got bitten you know in the walking dead where they just end up stabbing the person mm-hmm. it seems like that's all that's going to have to end up happening because it seems like they don't well, i think re- they want to cure him it, there's a way to cure them they did not go through that in the uh, show but like wouldn't you want to if it's a character that everybody loves i mean i assume so i'm just imagining the last scene is Lizzie going over her brother and being like you're cured <laughs> overall though i have to say that i actually enjoyed it more than i thought i would and i'm surprised at the grade i'm going to give it and why i'm giving it that great i mean i knew you'd give it a nine but i didn't know you were gonna give it a ten <laughs> it's definitely not a nine okay <laughs> But no, I'm surprised that it passes. I'm giving it actually a six and a half out of 10. And the reason for that isn't what I usually give shows six or sevens for. Uh, usually I give it a six or seven for like a show that has good acting. Maybe the story isn't that good. It's but a decent story it's, at least. But it's like competently it's made cinematography. Yeah, you know, that type of thing. I mean, Shantaram was a great and you still didn't pass that one. So I think that like... A, <laughs> so are you finding... Bar- you gave this a higher, <laughs> a higher rating than Shantaram. <laughs> Yeah, okay. because because here's the, here's the reason why. You want to know why? It's because I'm not going to watch the rest of this show, but it's very crowd-pleasing to people who have seen this show. You there's can tell like, that just by this one episode. There, yes, there's like five character deaths that happened of characters who were definitely supposed to be in other things, so those hold weight. It's action-packed. It uh, it, the, some of the acting, nah, <laughs> and some of the will they will they stuff I could kind of like will take or they? leave. But there actually has again some funny moments like when characters died. It was played for laughs and it did end up working. Some of the performances were also good and it's supposed to be tongue in cheek. So that's the reason why I'm giving it a six and a half out of ten, which is not what I thought I would give this show when I originally picked it. Okay, yeah, yeah and this episode was called Ascension. I don't know if we mentioned that already. Um, well, it but, makes sense because so many characters die. Yeah. Like, yeah. So they're ascending, you yeah. think? They yeah. don't go to hell? Okay. All right. Well, thanks for listening. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.